I'm Gary Mill with Digistar, the product manager for the SD3400 for seed tenders. Today I will be demonstrating the basic operations of the SD3400 to eliminate downtime and the convenient no-fail start and stop functions. First thing you need to do is turn your SD3400 on. Now that the SD3400 is on, you are ready to fill your planter using the entry keypad and the amount of seed that you would like to plant in your planter. Now again, this can be done in pounds or if need, needed, can also be done in kilos. Once you are ready for your desired amount to place into your hoppers, I'm going to use the example that you have a 24 row planter and you need 50 pounds for each hopper. By doing so, you will place five, enter five zero, and enter on the indicator. You will notice that it will say preset stored amount. This is the amount that will always be stored in your indicator until you enter a new amount. So each time when you do a fill into your hopper, it will dispense in a convenient and easy way 50 pounds. Now when you're ready, move your chute over to your planner, but we will show this using our demonstration display model here on how this is done. Once you've moved your chute over to your hoppers, you will then press the button on your seat tender to dispense the 50 pounds that you have preset into your indicator. You will also notice that on the indicator it will count down and also a red light will flash when you get closer to the amount that you have preset. And now I'd like to demonstrate the auto manual mode, which is located on the power cable. The ST3400 in the auto mode will dispense your seed automatically. However, if you desire, you can turn this switch to manual, and this gives you the capabilities to automatically or manually dispense seed as needed. Next, I would like to talk a little bit about how to set your tolerance. To change the tolerance, if your seed tender is not dispensing the desired amount, you can easily do this by pressing 442 select on your indicator and then pressing the on button. This will allow you to change that tolerance and I will show you how that is done. And now I'm pressing the on button and you can see it displays tolerance and right now it comes again out of the factory set at 20 pounds. Let me explain to you different options or different ways to change the tolerance and why you would need to change the tolerance. The example I used earlier is if I had uh, dispensing 100 pounds and my tolerance is 20 pounds in the tube. While looking at your indicator for the first few times, if it is over dispensing by 10 pounds, so for example, you are dispensing 110 pounds, you want to increase your tolerance and you can go ahead and use the clear button and press three zero. And now your tolerance is 30 pounds which then changes the amount you're compensating into your chute. Now, in the opposite case, if you are under dispensing and your tolerance was set at 20, you want to decrease that number. So again, I can press the clear button, and if we originally were at 20 pounds and I'm under dispensing, I want to press 10. So what's happening is, well, your tube is smaller or the amount that is in your tube when you're dispensing has changed. Now, again, to select that, we want to press the on button. So I will use the example that we were over dispensing, and I will put three zero in, and press on. Today's operations can be found in your owner's manual along with other functions. Just as a recap, today we've covered how to enter your preset amounts for different types of planters, and how to change the tolerance to dispense the desired amount. The SC3400 is easy to use with minimal training. For more information on the operation and functions of your ST3400, please contact Digistar. I'm Gary Mill, and have a great planting season.